Whenever Prime OS is mentioned in front of you, there's only one question that comes to your mind. Prime OS means error. Now, you have no reason to worry because Prime OS is designed in a way that the chances of errors are 101%. In fact, when I tried Prime OS for the first time, I faced quite a few errors. And at one point, my entire PC got formatted due to Prime OS. But don't be anxious, because in today's video, I will provide you with complete guidance on how to download and install Prime OS without any errors. There are some crucial steps in the video, so watch each step carefully. Let's start the video. Let's roll. Before moving forward in the video, let me show you the specifications of my PC so that all your doubts regarding system requirements are clear. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 G's processor. If we talk about the graphics card, my PC currently has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is not very capable. Now, let's proceed towards the installation process. The download link for these two files will be available in the comment box below. Make sure to download these exact versions, otherwise you might face some errors. First, connect a USB drive of up to 2 GB to your PC and then run Rufus. As soon as you run Rufus, you will see an interface like this. Click on this button and select the Prime OS ISO. Below, you will find several options. Don't change anything and simply click on the Starts button. Now, choose this option and click on OK. After that, you will get a warning. Simply ignore it and click OK. You need to let this process happen and then go to my computer. Here, choose any unnecessary or empty partition and give it the name Prime OS. So, the process here is now complete and you need to restart your PC. As soon as you restart your PC, you'll need to press the boot key multiple times. For my P, see the boot key is F12. However, it might be different for your laptop if it's a different brand. In the next step, select the USB storage device and your USB will boot. After USB booting, you'll see these three options. If you want to test Prime OS first, select the first option. If you want to install it directly, like me, choose the third option. This is a crucial step. You must not mistakenly select the Windows partition here. You need to install it on the partition where you named it Prime OS. After selecting the partition, press Enter. Here, choose Do Not Reformat and press Enter. Then choose Yes and press Enter again. In the next step, you need to type the storage, keeping in mind that the more storage you allocate, the longer it will take to install. So Prime OS is now installed, and you need to select Run Prime OS. As you can see, the Prime OS logo has appeared. When you start Prime OS for the first time, it will take 5 to 10 minutes to load. Now that Prime OS is installed without any errors, you need to click on the Proceed button. After that, you need to enter your complete details here and click on Next. Now, you need to accept the license agreement. Now, as you can see, Prime OS is running smoothly, and if I show you its Android version, you'll see that it's Android 7. So now we've successfully installed Prime OS without any errors. However, the 
question arises, is our Windows also running correctly or not? As you can see, our PC is dual booting. Now, I'll simply select Windows from here. As you can see, Windows is working perfectly. If I share my personal opinion about Prime OS, I wasn't particularly impressed. Firstly, it doesn't support many games. And secondly, the sensitivity is so high that you can't play shooting games properly. That's why I prefer Remix OS over Prime OS, which not only supports many games, but can also be installed without any USB drive. If you want to watch a tutorial video on Remix OS, click on the video appearing on the screen, and I'll see you there. Bye!